get your sail up, I mean, if you're, we call this, what you see on the floor here, we mm -hmm. call that spaghetti. Spaghetti's not good because you can uh, really create a mess. So once you get your sails up, you can kind of clean up the spaghetti, hang go. it up there, get it out of the way, you know, so nobody's tripping on this stuff or whatever. And here's your jib sheet. Pick that up, get it out of the way, pick your other jib sheet up, you know, get it out of the way. Um, so just that's just good seamanship, right? Okay, uh, now when you're ready to drop your sail, you just undo that coil, make sure it's you don't have any knots in it because you don't want to get stuck when you bring it down. Pop it, it pretty much fall down. You know, I go up there and probably bring it down a little farther, make sure it doesn't drop into the water. One thing I do when I'm going to bring down that sail mostly, Paul, is I center this up in the middle of the boat like this. And then drop it. And then drop it so it doesn't fall off the side, you know. Right. When you get in the water, you don't want to get in the water. Uh-huh. Now, this iron is only going to come down about that far. Okay. Because it, it's, it, this is, this tip type of halyard is called wire, wire rope halyard. So it's wire on this end and rope on that end. So when the rope gets up to the top of the block, it can't go any farther, right? Uh -huh. So it only comes down that far. And then, I usually, when I'm storing the boat, as you can see, I try to keep the halyards uh, up away from the mast so they're not clanging on the mast. You ever go to a boat, ever go to marina and you hear all this clanging? That's no good, it's just ruining your paint job, you know? <laughs> so, I try to get it all out of the way like that. Mm -hmm. 